mascot. Good morning. All the uh, boys got their haircuts today, so that was pretty good. Grandma's pretty good at doing that, so uh, we don't have to go to town, which is nice. <clears throat> First things I'm gonna do here today, I'm going. We got a load of canola to go out on Monday, so I'm going to fire up the Kenworth. Okay, so I got this all geared up for when uh, Buddy shows up tomorrow. So uh, the Super B is loaded. Uh, pretty sure it's a it's a legal load, I would think. Maybe a little light actually. So what I got is uh, he'll be able to pull in right down the Range Road and then right underneath this auger, and then I'll just uh, start unloading out of my Super B and uh, should go pretty quick. Canola originally was a July delivery contract date through a uh, local elevator. Of course, they're a complete disaster. I don't know what's going on there. So <clears throat> the guy, you know, they kept pushing it off. Oh, it'll be mid-July, they told me when I signed the contract. Then, oh, it'll be end of July. And then, oh, it's gonna be mid-August. And I was like, you know what? I'm, I don't even wanna haul to you guys anymore. Like, you're just ridiculous. Give it up. So I got, uh, I got it contracted to another another elevator up north. They uh, provide quite a bit better service than these local guys are doing here lately. So it worked out better for me anyways. They're gonna pick it up in the yard and they're paying me more money than I had with the other elevator. I had to deliver it for less money and I had to deliver it on their terms. Like, and they, they kept, the funny thing was, you know, they, they were frustrated with me. They're like, well, we, you know, we can't keep up to your demands. It wasn't even my demands. They, they're the ones that set the delivery date and then they didn't honor it. So I, I kind of rolled my eyes at that one. It's kind of sad, but that is what they do. So looking at that now, that's not quite over the middle of the road, but so I'm just walking down here to the yard now. I'm going to take this header off. I had a neighbor phone me a couple days ago. He wants me to go over and do some custom swathing. Uh, and we haven't done that before. We, we do custom spraying, we've done custom hauling, we've done some custom seeding, but so I thought, you know what, let's give it a whirl, right? I mean, we got a, we got a pretty good swather, like they did, you know, there is obviously a new model because this is like a 2017, I think. So, the, you know, you, you're never gonna stay ahead of that, but it is a, <clears throat> it's a really good swather. So right now I'm just gonna take the header off and, uh, cause it's 35 feet, so you can't drive it down the road very far with, uh, with the header on. So as you saw, maybe, maybe you didn't, I don't know. Uh, not the easiest thing to do to get the header off. Of course, you know, a guy can sit back and, and armchair quarterback it and say, well, should have done this, should have done that, should have done the next thing. I'm sure they tried and did as good as they could. Once you get the hang of it, it does go pretty easy. Uh, unfortunately for us, I mean, I don't know. We needed a newer swather. Or the ones we upgraded from were like, 1980s swathers so they were getting tired they were getting worn out and uh one thing about it was they we were getting just over the line of having just enough acres that you know you couldn't couldn't spend a lot of time horsing around right so we we upgraded to this machine it was supposed to we had two before now we just have one so we were we fell into that well let's get one big one instead of two little ones one less person blah 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 but the other thing is Lots of our land touches, so we don't actually take the header on and off all that much. We basically take it off in the fall to put it away, and then we put it on at some point in the fall again, I guess, the next fall, and when we start swathing. So it's you don't get a lot of practice doing that, and I think that's probably one of the one of the more 
important things to realize when you're thinking things in agriculture might be frustrating. It's just, well, are you even doing it enough? You know, guys with 30,000 acres and they're, you know, maybe they got fields all over and they got to go through towns and stuff. They probably can take these things off in five minutes and it's just no big, no big deal. They do it two, three times a day. Like I say, we do it once or twice a year, you know, like, so you just never, you never get really good at it, I guess. Last thing I gotta do is put the hitch on. That's uh, not a big deal. They store the hitch on either side of these headers. This is the hitch right here. So there's one on here, there's one on the other side. You just take them off. You hook them down on that tire, hook them together, and then you can pull it with the pickup. Some of these swathers have a weight box, but that was another crazy thing. You know, you think, you know, for just under 200, they would just put that weight box, like that would just come standard because, you know, you kind of, it's it kind of need it right if you're going to have this one man operation but our you know like i say our dealer or whatever mcdon i don't know who who's making that call i think that thing's like 600 dollars you know it, it's a uh, it's hard to explain i guess it it goes on the swather where the header was so you can pull the header itself with the swather but like the, you know this knew it didn't come with it that was like another option and we, i didn't even we didn't even realize that at the time you know we were like you say, we were upgrading from 1980s John Deere swathers that we never ever took the headers off. They weren't even made for them to come off easy. You know, they, you took them off for for maintenance reasons. Otherwise, they were 20 feet and they, they fit everywhere. So we try to stick as, with green as much as possible. Uh, we are we are big John Deere fans here, and uh, one of the reasons for that is they have tremendous service. We find in 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 our in like our local our local dealer like phenomenal service they got lots of support they got big shop they got lots of inventory uh they do very quality work you know we've green lighted our combines a few times and and that's uh that's well worth the money we uh when we were working out my dad and i both we would you know we take them in and get them green lighted now that we're home we you know we're pretty good mechanics ourselves so we uh we do most of it ourselves now but they're uh if you do use their service and you get them to fix it uh, it, it, it will work like they they do a very good job so all right so my dad and buddy uh they went up to finish plowing the outside rounds of that uh, stuff he was doing so i'm gonna run up there and see if i can get a quick little video of that i'm gonna take the disc up because it's in the way anyways and uh i'll disc a little bit while they finish plowing So that's a bit of plowing, I guess. Not, uh, that thing definitely is out of whack. I'm not sure, like that back, uh, <clears throat> that back plow wasn't even going in the ground. So I had a guy phone me, I believe it was yesterday, he wanted me to go over and do a little spraying for him this week. So I thought today I better go out and clean out my sprayer because he's not uh, he's not spraying Roundup. So when I fired up my pump, it was leaking out of here, one of these plugs. And when I took it out, that's what I found. So it had eaten up the threads in there. Now I'm hoping, I do have a new plug and it doesn't look like it's cracked, but it is damaged a little bit. So I'm hoping my new plug with some fancy Teflon tape will go in there and seal it up. So let's see what happens. Okay, moment of truth here. I'm gonna flip it on and uh, we'll see the leaks. What are you doing? Um, uh, eating the berries. Raspberries? Uh-huh. And they're yummy. They're yummy? Put them in your bucket. 
good. I got some berries. I got some berries. Whoa. Nice berries. Did you pick them all yourself? No, you. <laughs> good evening. It's about quarter after nine. We're done here for the day, so uh, just going to head in. Got the chickens put away. I got uh, one fan going on one bin up there. Just, uh, I don't know, more for a little test anyway, see if my cables work. So I'm going to leave that going for a couple more hours, and then I'm going to go up and shut it off. But uh, that's it for me tonight. To anybody watching, thank you for that, and we'll uh, see you all tomorrow.